story to appeal to after I had um, stolen her luggage. He didn't steal my luggage, he stole my presents. I hadn't heard that. It was all just poor Mary and poor Mary. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't realize is I'm really the mastermind and Phil's always struggling to get even. <laughs> I really love making people laugh, and I don't really care whether they're laughing at me or with me. With me, of course, is preferable, but as long as they're laughing, I'm, I'm pretty happy. You're putting a little dinky water bottle on my door. Becoming the new president was initially terrifying, because it's a lot of responsibility. We have a lot of members. We have five offices around the world. We're looking to open a sixth in Lebanon, and I studied biology, so I don't exactly have the qualifications to be CEO of this type of organization. Well, do you have any idea where one can get the draft they're working on? Um, maybe if you sneak in the conference room before it starts, <laughs> you can get one. We don't need to. They're technically for the delegates. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> technically for the delegates. Jordan 25, Missouri. Magda 24, Poland. Magda, she's very Eastern European. I, I love her intricacy. She, she really makes me laugh. Jordan's very American. He's the most American guy I've met. No one can ever say I didn't do any dishes around here now. Well, I spent the last 40 days in six countries. So first I traveled to Africa, and we just tried to focus on human dignity and the side effects of that, which are, you know, freedom, solidarity, responsible stewardship, and then how they are the foundations of peace. They gave this to me at the end as a symbol of what my job is supposed to be, or our job. Okay. And so it's young people holding up the world, kind of strengthening it and uniting it, both black and white. In all of these countries, I think it's the first time that most of these young people have ever had someone come in and say, you do have dignity, you are capable of working to make your dreams a reality. Okay, you're faced with problems, but so is everyone else in the world. So along with the problem, you have creative ideas for a solution, and with this idea, you can start to make them a reality. Alejandra, 23 years old, Mexico City. Donna, 22, Quezon City, Philippines. Emily, 22, Cebu, Philippines. Living with guys and girls from different countries is like living in a reality TV show, <laughs> I think. But a decent version. And I think it's a good, fun living conditions. I mean, it's, it's also nice getting to know people from different countries and getting to know their cultures. Every day, there's always something new to learn. Today, I'm going to the United Nations with the rest of the interns. And then after that, I need to meet with you to discuss staff meetings, the next internship, all the other things. Our main focus is the dignity of every human person and that it's intrinsic and it's throughout their entire lives. And so this is a concept that seems simple to most, kind of basic, but in reality, almost no one realizes, especially in the developing nations, no one ever tells them that they have dignity, that they're capable, that they're worth anything. Um, anyone who's been discriminated against, people who aren't at the top of the society, just don't feel that they're worth anything. And I experienced this over and over again on my travels. And all I had to do was tell them, you have dignity. And right away, they were shocked. And they would say, I'll do anything to make this a reality. Hector, 24, Costa Rica. Fernanda, 23, Mexico. Paul Ginoli, 24, California. Like, our work here at the UN is valuable, but you won't create lasting change just walking the halls of the UN. It's about reaching out to people. It's about empowering people. Like, when you teach the youth to believe in themselves and to create that solidarity, that's what will change things in the long run. Maria, 26, Italy. Philip, 23. England. Jordan I Buck. Young people come to these big issues with a lot of energy and with a lot of idealism. And this, I think, is the reason why so many delegations at the UN, at the European institutions, everywhere we go want to meet with them. It's pretty amazing that such a simple message has such a powerful effect.